Hey everybody, so welcome to a beautiful sunset that is about to happen here, uh, wherever that is. And so today we wanted to talk about uh, kids. What are the um, combination that a ha ha person has in their chart that shows whether they will have kids or will not have kids? Well, first of all, let's talk about the houses that actually allow to have kids. And those are houses second, five, fifth, and eleventh house. So it's two, five, and eleven. Why these houses? Well, because second house is a house of family. Fifth house is a house of kids, actual kids, creating kids, creating things, creativity. That's why they gave it this to the fifth house, because you create kids. And the 11th house is a house of your hopes and wishes to be coming true. So 11th house shows if your wish is right now to have kids, how quickly is that wish is going to be fulfilled or if that wish is going to be fulfilled. So these three houses are main houses. Now, the signifactor of kids. Well, there is one main signifactor of kids and that is Jupiter. Jupiter really signifies having kids in, a, in one's life. See, Jupiter controls a lot of positive things in one's life like marriage, kids, career, money, happiness, okay? And spouse, as I said. So Jupiter, you gotta look at Jupiter's placement. If Jupiter is sitting with any malefic planets like Rahu and Ketu, if it's sitting with Saturn, you know, is Jupiter aspecting the fifth house or, or the is it in the eleventh house? You gotta check all these things out. But, how do you see if someone's gonna have kids? Well. If your 5th house and your 11th house is not affiliated, most likely the chances are you will have kids. And what do I mean by that? Well, if your 5th house has malefic planets, like, like, I'm sorry, if your house has benefit planets like Jupiter, Moon, and Venus, and Mercury, that signifies having kids, having kids at the normal time. If they're in the 11th house, same thing. Now, Mars is also uh, a good signifactor of kids. Because Mars is malefic, however, Mars is not a really malefic by nature, okay? Mars actually, Mars actually signifies male children, like Sun signifies male children. Now, what about the timing of having kids? Well, timing of kids, there are two timings. One is a major timing, like your Tasha, planetary time period that is ruling your life currently. Everybody's being ruled by a certain planetary time period. Now. The way you see that, to see if you're running a planetary time period of 5th and 11th house. If you're running the time period of these houses, okay, most likely you will have kids in that time period. But this time period can come about when you're young. That does not mean you're going to have kids, no. This time period really signifies between the ages of 18 and ages of 42. So between an 80, 18 and 42, when your 11th and 5th house time period, Dasha period comes in, that signifies you're gonna have children in that time. Now, what about the early transits? What do you, how can you pinpoint, you know, that you're gonna have kids this kid this year? Well, that is seen when planets of the second house, fifth house, and eleventh house are transiting in each other's houses. Okay, so if uh, second house is ruled by, let's say, Sun, and fifth house is ruled by Mars, and eleventh house is ruled by Venus. That means if either one of these three planets are in either one of these three houses transiting in a yearly basis, that, signif that triggers having kids. But obviously you have to see the horoscope of male and female as both, the mom and dad. Okay, you can't just look at one person and say, oh, they're gonna have kids. No, that is, that's where you're gonna lose. But what signifies not having kids? Well, I really will not get into that because I know how people are. People will think like, Oh, he's telling me and I have this combination, I'm not going to have kids. No, it's really more, you know, detail oriented analysis than what I will tell you. Okay, but I'll tell you the basic. Okay, whenever you have malefic like Rahu, Ketu and Saturn, okay, in your 11th or 5th house, that either delays children or doesn't give children. But, but. Saturn only delays children. Remember that. Saturn doesn't like Saturn doesn't deny you children. It delays it in your mid-30s. Okay? Ketu, if Ketu is in one of these houses, 
with without any benefic aspects okay that signifies the fact that this person doesn't even want kids so if you have ketu in the fifth house or you have ketu in the eleventh house or ketu in the ascendant people like these feel like you know they love children but they don't want children of their own now unless jupiter is also aspecting the fifth house or jupiter is sitting with k2 then it balances out but i don't want to get too much into what is a denial of children because people tend to take this very you know personally and they think i'm not going to have kids and it affects them psychologically so i will not say that but no matter i have seen people with rahu and k2 in the fifth house having kids you know why because of the nakshatra they were sitting in because of the constellation they were sitting in they have you have to see the chart of the children the divisional chart i believe it's a d5 chart okay so you look at that chart to see where how kids are being uh, judged in that chart okay so denial of children is also seen with one more method and that is from the fourth tenth and the ascendant the first house why is that well because fourth house is 12th to the fifth house that means it is a loss of the fifth house tenth house is loss of the eleventh house because it's 12th from the eleventh and ascendant is 12th from the second house of family so when planets of second fifth and eleventh house are 12th from each other that shows that okay this house is going to suffer losses but again do not think you're not going to have children you have to look at the constellation that they're sitting in maybe the constellation that the uh, that your planets are sitting in 12th from these houses are of the planets that are sitting in the fifth house so that helps but again without divisional charts don't ever judge this thing you have to look at the divisional chart that told tells about kids okay now how do you signify male and female children that if you are going to have male children or female children run again you're going to have to look at the both horoscopes of mom and dad and you're going to see what kind of planets are in the fifth house who's the ruler of the fifth house that means is the male planet ruling the fifth house is a female planet ruling the fifth house or is a neutered planet ruling the fifth house neutered planet are saturn and mercury they don't have a sex they they they're like you know just in the middle so when it comes to these neuter planets you have to look at the degrees that signifies if it's a male or female children but male planets like jupiter mars sun okay these they signify male offspring female offspring moon venus and mercury but mercury can also signify a male child because of the fact it's a neuter planet it can swing either way and that happens with a certain degree with a certain nakshatra i can't tell you that here it's going to take too long and you know you have to look at both the charts of male and female you have to look at the divisional chart to see how these planets are doing so in the d5 chart i i believe it's a d5 chart you have to look at the fifth house the lord of the fifth house you have to look at the lord of the main main birth charts fifth house in that house and what's happening so guys this was my basic scenario on uh, kids if you're new to my channel subscribe above uh, because i'll be bringing you more of this uh, beautiful knowledge with beautiful background and uh, if you want to know more about astrology and myths and misconception of astrology check out my link below